Welcome back to the cookie and today I am here with another episode of Stardew Valley. Now I know I haven't played Stardew in a little while and that is because I've had so many other games that I have been playing right now. I need to. I forgot I made this nice little wall here. But um, yeah, I have so many other new games that I've been playing. But you know, Stardew Valley. Well, because you guys know how much I love Stardew Valley, so I can't stay away from it for too long. So, yeah, and I just got back from a 30 minute long... Well, actually, technically, I was sitting there for almost two hours playing Club Penguin. Yeah, because I made a video on Pl Club Penguin that should probably be out, probably parts one and two, because there's going to be two parts. I sat there for 30 minutes not saying a word, waiting for the stupid iceberg to tip over, and it finally tipped, so I am happy. But we're not here to talk about Club Penguin today, no. We are here to talk about Chica the Chicken. Hi Chica, Chica the Chicken. Look at her, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, she looks fine. She looks fine, that's great. We're still gonna keep the door closed because I do not want such a little chicken getting loose. Hi, Cookie. How are you doing today? You doing good? That sounds great. All right. Well, it is the fourth day of summer, and I don't really know what we're going to do today, if I'm honest with you. Let's check our quests. We got the Mayor Shorts thing and Deeper in the Mine. Well, and we got some copper. Awesome. It is a beautiful day, and it is a beautiful month. So you know what? Oh, no, we don't have a enough money. I was going to say, why don't we go to the... Um, the bl blacksmith. Blacksmith is what it's called. I know. I know words, guys. I was going to say, why don't we go to the blacksmith and see if he will transform one of our um, items into a better thing. But I don't think we have the cash for that. So that makes me kind of sad. But it is okay because it is still a lovely day here in the beautiful Stardew Valley. It's Thursday, so we could actually go in and say hi to Abigail today. So that's nice. Um... Do they have something for her? I don't remember if I did. I wish you could shut doors behind you. Is she in here? No, she's not in her room. She's not in her room a lot. Like, honestly, for someone who's apparently into doom and gloom and is a teenager, she does not stay in her room a lot. If I knew how to use a sword, I would be exploring those caves by the mountain lake right now. It's probably nice and cool in there. It is. I've been in there multiple times. Hello, Caroline. Maybe I'll just get takeout from the saloon. Okay, you do you. It is 9 a.m. It's 10 a.m. in the morning, so getting takeout at 10 a.m. in the morning seems a little interesting. But you do you. You do you. I'm not going to judge you. Everyone's enjoying the weather instead of shopping. Oh, I'm sorry, Pierre. I'm sorry, Pierre. I'm one of those people. All right, so we're at two hearts, and we could give her one gift. We'll save that gift for tomorrow, because it is Friday, and gifts are always better on a Friday, just because Fridays are Fridays. Everybody loves Fridays. All right. Oh, look. I've got a little... Look, i got a butterfly in my hair. Oh, oh no, it's running away. No, come on. No, come on, please. Oh, Boo. Will he see me if I rip through his trash cans from here? No. Okay, cool. <laughs> I wanted to double check. Oh, uh, look, look. I can put butterflies in my hair. Guys, I can put butterflies in my character's hair. Look, look, look. That, that, that's my face, not my hair. Butterfly! Butterfly! I really like the little sprites in this game. Is there anything in the library trash can? No. Um... I honestly don't know what we're gonna do today. Why don't we go fishing? Let's go fishing on the river. Just a nice day in town, fishing by the river, having a swell time doing whatever it is we want to do today. Nothing too crazy today, just calm. Just a calm day. Just a calm, relaxing time fishing. That's what's so great about Stardew Valley, and on, in all honesty, this game is so calm. It's nice. It's so nice. It's just like, ha. Huh. After a long day, you could come to, back to Stardew Valley and be like, you know what? I feel like calmly farming today, and that's good. Um, that's a Joja Cola. That's not a fish. Although I guess I can still sell the Joja Cola. 
That's not a fish. Hi, Pam. Let's head up. Let's do this. And let's us fish in the river. Let us fish in the river. Yes, we got a fish. Oh, it's an easy one. Nice. I like easy fish. Because then I can easily rope it in without much trouble. Ooh, a sunfish. I don't think we've caught one of those before. Looks cool. Do, 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 do. I'm probably totally off beat and messing up the song. Oh, I have a story for you guys today. So, um, yeah, I am really, well, it's not really a story. It's more of like a exclamation. I am really excited because if you go over to my drawing channel, you will see I finished the animation I've been working on for two months. You know that animation that I kept saying that I needed time off to work on it because it was taking ages? I finished it! It is over on my drawing channel if you want to check it out. It's so cool. I love how it turned out. And the best part about it was there was like a whole day where my favorite YouTubers of all time were commenting on the video and telling me it was good and like retweeting it and favoriting the tweet and I was like it, it is the happiest I have been in a long time just like sitting there like whenever I get notifications from people I admire this is gonna sound cheesy but it is true whenever I get notifications from people I admire I'm kind of just I get like this little burst of happiness like oh oh that's so cool though they like me oh they talk to me oh they think I'm an alright person awesome Ooh, what's that a rainbow trout. Ooh, and I got an achievement for that. What is the achievement? Oh, now I'm curious. Hang on. What does... What does the achievement? Where, where can I look at achievements? Collections, right? Achievements. Catch ten different fish. Oh! Ooh. Oh, oh. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so, um, every time... Hey, Max! Every time, um... I get like a notification from one of my favorite people, or just anybody really. I get like this little burst of happiness, like, aww, that, that's the, oh, I missed it because I wasn't paying attention. There we go. Um, I, I'm like, aww, they, I'm not a nuisance. Look at me. I'm not just annoying and I'm not just completely annoying and unbearable to be around. I'm actually a cool person and some people like me. Woo! Yeah, so that, um, that's kind of what I get. I get that little burst of happiness. Yeah. It was like that the entire day I put out that, I put out that, um, I put out that animation video. I was like, like, it's like a, one of the bursts of happinesses I get. Happinesses? Yeah, that's a word. It's like one of the bursts of happiness I get times 20 over like a period of 24 hours. It was great. And I know that's just called happiness, but like... It was like extreme happiness. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I would like to just say in this video, thank you, Rare Drop, even though you're probably not watching it. You made my day freaking awesome. And I was so happy all day. It was great. I missed another exclamation point. I wonder how many of you were mad at me for that. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that's my story for the day. It was so awesome. I had such a good day. So, one of my friends is really sick, though, and that's kind of sad. Like, um, I have a friend who we all call Eggy, don't ask why, long story, but I have a friend called Eggy, right, that, um, we all love her to death, but she gets sick, like, a lot, like, a disturbing amount of sick, and, um, the other day we were all in, uh, class together, and, like, she'd been out a few days, and she was gonna come back and try it, and then she threw up in class, and we were like, aw, egg, and she was, like, sick for... She had to go home, but the thing that sucked about it was the fact that nobody could come get her, so she was, like, sitting on a bench in the lobby of the school, miserable, for three hours. I felt so bad. I just wanted to, like, go up and hug her and be like, it's okay, but I couldn't because she was sick. And there is a huge writer's conference coming up on the 10th. I think that's enough fishing for today. And I am going... Alright, so basically, let me let me lay this down for you. My I go to a creative writing school, as most of you know. Well it's not just a it's not just a creative writing school, it's an art school, but I major in creative writing at this school. So what happened was there is this huge writers conference every year in um America. It's like this huge it's the annual writers convention slash conference. I don't know what the I don't know what the the annual writers I don't I don't know what it is. It's it's AWP for short. I don't really know what the actual um what the actual 
acronym stands for. There we go. That's the word. The word is acronym. Thank you, self. Um, but yeah, so there's this huge, and I mean it's huge. It's like the biggest one in the entire nation, right? And this year it is in Washington, D.C., which is decently close to where our school is, right? And so my writing teacher got us all tickets, got like a grant to get the entire creative writing department tickets to this freaking conference. So we are all stoked beyond stoked because we get to spend a whole day with professional writers. It's going to be so much fun. It's on February 10th. I'm going to be geeking out all day over poetry and words. And I know that makes me sound like such a geek, but I am so freaking excited for this. And my favorite poet, one of my, not my favorite poet, one of my favorite poets of all time is going to be live performing there. Sarah freaking K. I get to see K Sarah freaking K perform live. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. So yeah, this, this, um, this, uh, while I've been gone has been pretty good for me. You know, it's just like happy news after happy news after happy news. I'm a happy individual recently. So, yeah, that's nice. Ah. Do, do, do. The only thing I'm unhappy about recently- That was a frog! There's a little frog in the grass. The only thing I'm unhappy about recently is the fact that Club Penguin is closing down and being replaced by a mobile app. Disney, why? Like, <laughs> I don't know why Disney is so intent on shooting itself in the foot when it comes to their massive multiplayer online games. Like, first, there was Toontown. Toontown was taken down. And with the uproar over the fact that Toontown was taken down, you'd think they'd never do it again. Yeah, you're wrong. They did it to Pixie Freaking Hollow, which was my favorite out of all of the game- out of the- out of all of the online multiplayer games that they made. I loved Pixie Hollow. If you played Pixie Hollow when you were a kid, please tell me in the comments, because my god, Pixie Hollow was my childhood. Pixie Hollow was that one with, like, the Disney fairies, where you could be, like, Tinkerbell, but you would make your own fairy, and you would run around and do cool fairy things, and it was awesome. But, um, yeah, so that was what that was. So they took down that next, and they... Did, they said they did it to put all their money into Club Penguin, which was like, okay, okay, that makes sense. You want to focus on one game to make sure it's really polished and good. Yeah, that makes sense. I can accept that. But no, 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 no. They are going to take down Club Penguin now and turn it into a mobile app. If that mobile app is not free, I'm going to be severely mad. Like, legitimately, if it's not free... I'm just saying that they've decided that they want to shoot themselves in the foot multiple times just for funsies. Like, I don't get it anymore. But, yeah, so that's my rant on Club Penguin. And, Di well, it's not really my rant on Club Penguin. It's my rant on the Disney people making stupid decisions when it comes to massive multiplayer online games. Like, seriously, they don't even have any more. After Club Penguin, they don't have any more. The era is over. But, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching me play Stardew Valley while I complained and got excited about stuff in the background. We got 315 gold from fish today. Nice! Rainbow trout are awesome! I need to catch more of those. But, anyways, guys, I think that's all I had to say. Stay strong while I'm gone. Bye on my chocolate chips! <laughs>